What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Caitlin. Today I want to do something a little bit different and share my reflections from the last six months of running my very first business. I know that in the world of side hustles we currently live in, there are a lot of people interested in becoming an entrepreneur, and with more and more people learning to work from home, I hope that my journey can encourage and inspire someone else on their journey. So this is likely going to turn into an entrepreneurial series here on the channel, so I hope you guys are excited for that, but let's dive right in. Roughly six months ago, after I graduated from seminary with my master's degree, I was at a real crossroads in my life. I'd already been accepted into a PhD program, but I knew I needed a break from school. So I decided to defer my acceptance for a year and pursue something else. Now when I first decided to take a year off, I wasn't at all planning on starting a business and figured I'd pick up something to fill in the gap. However, that plan didn't really work out. I've always wanted to start my own business and I've always had a dream of starting my own coffee company. So my dad came to me and asked if I'd be willing to dedicate a year of my life to us together starting a coffee company. And I figured, why wait to start a business? So we decided to embark on the journey of starting Street Brew Coffee, a social enterprise company raising funds and awareness for the homeless in Toronto. If your morning coffee could change a life. Just the other week, we passed six months as a company. And while that might not seem like that long of a period, it certainly feels like a lifetime for me. I've learned a ton, made great relationships, grown as a person, and I couldn't see myself being anything other than an entrepreneur. So I decided I'd share some of my biggest lessons from the past six months. Lesson number one, play the long game. We live in a society that showcases the overnight successes, the people who rose to fame and fortune seemingly overnight, and because of the world of social media, that is often all we get to see. People and companies can edit out their lowlights, choosing to only show the highlights of their success, and this paints a totally unrealistic picture for inspiring entrepreneurs. One of the biggest things I've learned is that overnight success is not a thing. Anyone who tells you that you can launch a company and immediately have it go big is lying to you, and you need to run. The way I like to look at it is that starting a business is a lot like having a kid. You give birth and everyone is really excited and supportive. Everyone is there for you. But a few weeks later, you have to start from ground zero all alone because everyone that was originally excited for you has moved on with their own lives. Being an entrepreneur is definitely a long game. Much like life, it's a marathon, not a sprint. There are going to be good days, good weeks, and plenty of bad ones mixed in. You're going to make fantastic decisions and not so fantastic ones. It's all a part of the journey. You have to be dedicated to the process and make sure you're in the game for the right reasons or else you'll get discouraged and give up. You have to make sure your purpose and your why is big enough to sustain the fuel that you have for your company. If not, you're just going to give up. Personally, I've loved learning about playing the long game. You have to be both determined and committed to your business and have to work hard and give it your all every single day. That is what makes it all worthwhile, knowing that the success you have is because of all of your hard work and because you didn't give up when things got tough. So if you want to start a business, be prepared to be in it for the long haul. You're not going to be an overnight success. At least you probably won't be. You're going to have to work hard. There's going to be highlights. There's going to be lowlights. There's going to be a lot of negatives that nobody is going to get to see. The behind the scenes, the real life stuff that nobody sees, that's what's going to fuel you to keep working hard. So while social media is so key and so important for you to grow your business, don't put too much stock into what your competitors are doing. A lot of it isn't true. Remember, it's just their edited highlights. They want people to only see the best just like you want people to only see the good parts of your business. There's lots of negatives, so don't put too much stock into what social media is showing you. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, especially when you're an entrepreneur starting your own business. The next lesson I want to highlight quickly is the need to be adaptable. Honestly, I think this is a lesson we actually need in every area of life, but it's especially important when you're an entrepreneur. You can make all the plans in the world, but I promise you, something somewhere is going to go wrong. Put your hand up if you saw the coronavirus global shutdown coming. Alright, put your hand down, I see you over there lying. No one saw this coming. No business or entrepreneur could have prepared for a blindside hit like this. Street Brew is a very event focused business, and this shutdown has caused all of our events to be cancelled for the foreseeable future. As a result, we've had to be flexible to adapt to this new reality. We can no longer go to our people personally, so we had to figure out a way around that so we could still go to our customers. As a result, we've adopted for free local delivery and started a YouTube channel to keep sharing the personal side of our business. When you're face to face, you can laugh and joke and build that personal connection in a way you can't replicate through social media alone. So YouTube gives us a better opportunity to actually accomplish that. 
Businesses and entrepreneurs are being forced to adapt all over the world. And truth be told, only the ones that are willing to be flexible will survive this shutdown. Adapting to new technology, new marketplace behaviors, losing existing customers, shortening attention spans, and new competitors are all things you have to deal with. What are you going to do to make your business stand out from the crowd? If you want to start a business, be willing and open to adapt it regularly, because things will change. In fact, that might be the only constant in life. Change. You want to know a big secret for a lot of the major companies like Nike and Apple? It's their ability to adapt and their willingness to change to new things. I read a story once that Steve Jobs went to a meeting with another company and was amazed at what he saw. He then went back to his executive team and said, hey, I know we've been working on this launch for months on months and spent millions of dollars and poured everything into this product, but we need to get rid of it. We need to dump it, blow it all up and go in a new direction. His executive team was mortified. What do you mean we have to change direction? We've put everything into this product. Steve Jobs knew that if he didn't blow this project up and start in a new direction, he could risk the entire future of Apple. And that's exactly what he told his executives. He was not gonna be the one that made his company fail. Steve Jobs was willing to be the one to push the change button, be willing to be the person who made that change, the adaptable one, no matter what was on the table, because he didn't want his company to be blindsided by something he couldn't see. He wanted to be the one where he could make the mistake, but he would go out on his own terms because he was willing to adapt and change. The last six months have been an absolutely incredible ride learning how to run a business and become an entrepreneur. I love what I get to do with Street Brew and I love the fact that I get to do it with my dad and be mentored by someone who has been in business for so long. Actually, that's another really good point. Make sure you find a mentor if you want to be an entrepreneur. Someone who's already gone, already blazed their own path because they're going to be able to teach you the ways and save you a lot of pain and struggle down the road. If you're sitting there today and you have a dream of starting your own business or becoming an entrepreneur like I once did, I really encourage you to start going for it. Start putting the wheels in motion. The ball is in your court. Now is the perfect time to step up to the plate and start figuring out your business. Watching Street Brew grow from ground zero to where it is today has been amazing. Obviously, I'm not an expert on being an entrepreneur by any means, but I'm thoroughly enjoying the journey, learning lots every single day, and I want to be able to share and encourage and inspire other people out there who want to take the same entrepreneurial journey. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It was super fun to talk about some of my biggest reflections from the past six months of being an entrepreneur. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna turn this into a series because I've learned so much over just six months and I'm only gonna learn more as my business continues to develop and grow. So I definitely wanna turn this into a series and keep making really cool content for those out there who wanna start the entrepreneurial journey. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Join the family, we've got lots of room. If you wanna check out my my business street brew coffee i will link that in the description down below also all my social media will be down there so follow me on instagram follow my business's instagram and hey we'll catch you in the next video